As the Detroit Grand Prix takes over downtown this weekend, organizers are working to make sure the event goes as smoothly as possible. 7 News Detroit reporter Faraz Javid takes a closer look at a key on-site facility operated by a specialized team of doctors that caters to any type of medical emergency throughout the event. Have you ever wondered what happens if there's an emergency on the track? Well, that's why you have the Track Medical Center. In layman's term, it's a full-fledged emergency room trackside. To understand how it all works, I got Dr. D. Dr. D, thank you so much. My pleasure, thank you. A Detroiter at heart, Dr. Trifin Dimitrievsky, also known as Dr. D, is the medical director for the Detroit Grand Prix, a title he has been proud of for eight years. If you wonder why there's a break in the wall here, it's been specifically designed so that we can access the track medical center in the event that there's an injury. Dr. D says this med car is the first to respond. So this uh, medical vehicle carries emergency medicine trained physicians and they carry a lot of advanced equipment with them. Once assessed, and stabilized, the patient is rushed to this eight-bed facility staffed with a dozen physicians and nurses. We have a driver treatment area that's dedicated to providing care specifically for drivers that are involved in any kind of incident on track. If they are injured, then we are fully prepared here to do anything and everything we can. We have everything that a normal emergency department resuscitation and trauma bay we would have. We have you know, a monitor to put the patient on. We have a crash cart in case we need to either administer fluids. If we need to do any kind of cardiac resuscitation or if the patient's not breathing, we can put a tube in their mouth and help them breathe. We have advanced medical medications to help facilitate that. We even have blood products here. If we have a massive hemorrhage or some kind of non-compressible hemorrhage and we need to stabilize and start giving blood back, we have the ability to do that and stabilize them before we transport them so they make it there safely. Patients with life-threatening injuries are transferred to Detroit Receiving Hospital. But luckily, last year, Dr. D's unit didn't have to respond to anything serious. In previous years, we've had some significant uh, life-threatening emergencies. I mean, we've had uh, people uh, fall and injure themselves in pit lane, had a collapsed lung. We While this medical center is dedicated to track emergencies, Dr. D says the Detroit Grand Prix covers every aspect of any medical issues that may come up. We have three other first aid stations strategically located throughout the facility to deliver care for everybody, spectators, workers, vendors, uh, and then also we have nine roving medical teams on golf carts with equipment to help deliver care. Where do you guys do the x-rays? Oh, well that's a good question. Follow me. It is a portable, high definition, digital machine that takes fantastic x-rays and it's, uh, we have it for the weekend and we can wheel it to wherever we need to shoot x-ray. There are also offices for the team, a medication section, and a lab for urgent testing. You're going to be hard-pressed to find anybody who does it better than we do here in Detroit. From downtown, I'm Faraz Javid, 7 News Detroit. Still ahead, a